Welcome to the Empire's Rampant, and welcome back to my Rohan campaign for the Divide and Conquer version 5 mod with the Expanded Unit Roster sub mod, where we're going to continue with left off from last time. Right now, we've been pushing in rather nicely into the forces of Isengard. We're getting close to properly fully finishing them off, because they only have a couple more cities. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, about five cities left. As right now, we're having it so that we're still having the forces of Theoden and Eomir. You guys are still trying to push on in and deal with them. And I have Hama here. You're starting to gather a force, and I'll have it basically you are going to be going to deal with the Dunmundings. So I'm grabbing forces for you. I do need to make sure. Let me get some cav in this army. I'd probably say just basic Rohirrim, because we want to get some sort of cav in his army. He's essentially. Oh no, there's actually some cav over here. We can. Well, no, those cav units should go over to you guys. Yeah, so I'll have it so yeah, Hama is slowly building up an army. Um, I would say for right now, let's see, I can't retrain that uh, this guy here, actually. So you have to go back to the Hornburg. Um, I'll have it so you guys just for right now sit in the fort right side of Isengard as I'm gathering forces. I actually have uh, you go here for right now, just so we save a little bit more money. I also did forget uh, about the fact that because I have uh, the uh, Palantiri, I do like to turn off the Fog of War every once in a while, and I kept forgetting to do that. So uh, usually I want to do that every 50 turns, so we're just a couple turns past that. So let's kind of go away from my own territory and kind of see what the state of the world is. We'll kind of start off with that for now first, because at this point in time right now, Let's see, so Aird Lewin is doing well for themselves. You guys, it uh, looks like, I think you guys were basically became like neutral, like you took the ranks when you did your own thing. Because the moment currently you are, you, I know you are at, at war with Aird Lewin. Okay, I thought you guys may be allied there, for, but no, so we got that. But they're crazy up here. And in a way, this is not that strong right now, which is kind of crazy to me. Like they're, usually they're pretty strong. Um... Dolador is doing really well for themselves. Orcs of the uh, Gundabad are doing well for themselves. Goblins of Moria actually have a lot of territory, which is strange. That's so weird. Dale's doing all right. High Elves are doing all right. They've only got three territories. Ruins doing decently. Dornwinian's doing decently. Mordor, yeah, we we knew they were pushing on in over here. Cand is as well. Cand's pushing on in quite nicely too, because I think uh, if I remember correctly, I believe you're standing with Mordor. If I remember correctly, um, and then for the most part, yeah, Gondor's actually pushing down here a little bit. They are being attacked by the Adonine though a little bit there, but yeah, no. So that's what the map looks like. I'll try to remember to make it sure that we look at the map again on turn 100. Uh, so we'll do that. I don't like that the Witch King's here. Oh, uh, I don't like that at all. We're, we're trying to get out of it so that we gather more troops around here because I know. Once you finish up this building, I'm going to start getting the better militia garrison, so you have more free upkeep. We're going to keep just gathering more and more men around here when we're able. Also, it was I was reminded, I probably should be using my heir, because uh, he's also... What is his bodyguard? He's got a good bodyguard, too, just like his father. So, he, yeah, he also has the, the king's horse guard, too. I probably should, because he's actually been a pretty good governor of Hornburg. I should move him out. What does he have for his traits and stuff? I do want to use him at some point, but part of me is almost just leaving him behind, just in case, uh, to make sure that he doesn't die. Uh, but no, I think maybe I should have it so that he... Actually, no, maybe we should have him help Hama. Yeah, no, let's do that. So let's, let's have him help Hama. Because I'm going to have you come over here. You can make it so that we at least have some cav in this army. So you two will be working together to try and push back the, the Dunmundings. So that's what you guys will be trying to do. This area, I know we just need to start trying to convert it. What are we at right now? So, you guys are at 51%. Bregnos is at 53%. So, basically, next turn, I might be able to move all my spies out of here, put them in Karas. I do still have more movement if I wanted to to finish these guys off, and I'm kind of tempted to, just to start off, like, especially at least with you, because you're the fat current faction leader. So, I think we should at least kill you. He's going to run. I do still have enough movement to go chase him. Yeah, let's just... Uh, yeah, we can just, oh, no, I didn't mean to end the turn. I meant to kill those guys. You know, I meant... <laughs> Take you guys here. Let's kill this guy, because he shouldn't be able to do any damage to us, and that will be another faction leader of Isengard killed. So, might as well take them out. Because I'm pretty sure we've taken out all the guys that have uh, the unique traits. So we don't have to worry about Uruk died at this point in time with the forces of um, Isengard. So that's hopefully uh, the case. I believe it is. Because there's like two unique general bodyguards besides Saruman. So let's grab all of my 
guys. And then I probably should be having it so that essentially I should be having it so technically. Uh, hey, this is reminded that I should technically be putting you guys more on this side. Yeah, because if their shields are. If they're all right handed, their shields are on their left side, so on my right side. So I should technically be having more on this side. I know sometimes I focus it on the. Um, the terrain on which side I put you guys on. But let's put you, let's do this. Let's get you guys up over around here. Get you guys on this side. Let me just double check because it made that sense. Yeah, it's on the side with the, uh, the main hand. So you guys go around there. We might just be shooting them all to death for the most part because they have literally no skirmishers in this army. I just want to make sure that this guy dies. That's like the main thing. So like the Reavers and everybody should die pretty quickly. You guys just make sure you're kind of yeah, nearby them. Melikev, I honestly don't even think I need to use you. Like, we could, but I want to just, like, pull you guys away to make sure you're not going to die to, like, friendly fire or anything. And because that general's bodyguard's already taking some good damage. You guys might want to get a little closer if you can. And because he's slowly dying. Took a little bit of damage. Let's get you guys a little bit closer here. Because he's taking damage. This guy, just, just charge him with my Melikev. You should kill him pretty easily. This is the basic Reaver. Yeah, he's, he's broke instantly. So there we go. So now we just need to run down the general's bodyguard, or shoot him, basically. Because he's down to, let's see, 30 guys. He's trying to make his way over to us. Let's pull back. Let's just properly charge him. So you guys up here. You guys over on the other side. And then we charge right about now. Not the best charge for my other guys, but he's fully surrounded. Then you run him down. Because I might be able to ransom his ass. Because he is the faction leader, so I might get a good chunk of money from ransoming him. So, like, I'm I'm very okay with that if that's going to be the case. Because right now, I, I, like, my economy is going to start going up soon. We're starting to get more territory. We're starting to build it up. Get my economy, get my population up. I'll start making more money. But, getting free money from just ransoming off these generals continuously until they run out of cash is perfect for me. Because they had, like, yeah, like a stockpile of, like, 24,000 gold. So, that's not bad. Uh, and a general's but This is a faction leader, so he's worth more. He might still be only worth 1,000, but... He's worth 10k! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! <laughs> Fucking love it. There we go. So we've got 10k for that. That's beautiful. Okay, now let's see. Now I can keep building more stuff up. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get the better farm here. Eyes and Guardians to get the better guild house. You're getting roads. The Hornburg. I want you to get better cab units. I want you to start getting that. Because I do want to start getting better units somewhere. Most other areas I do want to focus more money on, so like we'll keep eating more growth. Because that'll help us get more trade. Um, practice range isn't a bad thing, just so we can have more troops that are recruitable around here. Also, I can get another general's bodyguard around here, so I'll have to remember that, so I can get another guy as a, uh, a garrison, or a governor, basically. I was real happy you guys haven't taken that just yet. I, have to be, I do have to be careful about that and keep watch Whoa, over that. Um, I will have you. With honor. Keep building watchtowers. So we almost have all my land lit up around here. I basically just need like one more watchtower over here. And then that's pretty much all my land around here. Then I need you. I'll probably have you go be a governor. Fangorn? Yeah, probably go to Fangorn, I'd say, with you. Because then you can watch over for that city for us. Angmar's of Might. You guys do well there right now. Alrighty, let's see. So for right now, I'm getting here. You're still trying to build this up. But are these areas now... 58%. It's close. So I can almost move... I can maybe move at least one of the spies over here. So at least one from each. Just so we can start helping convert that area next turn. Because you guys will be okay. Um, let's see. Announcements. Construction report. Okay, so Aldberg now has a better barracks over here. So now I can try and train some of your guys around here. Now get me the militia garrison so we get a more free upkeep units. Are you going towards Enwait or Allberg? You could technically want to go for either. Can't recruit anything there. I'll have you grab some more archers around here. I don't have much else to grab around there. Yes, my lord. I know you're coming over here lord to get more stuff here. 
but I might actually have you go help out with these attacks. I don't have as much cabin this army as I'd like, but I could move out of this area. That's if they go for Entwade. I'm going to hope they don't. And then eyes and run. So yeah, these three units, you're making your way over here. So you're going to join on up with uh, King Theoden. So you'll be doing that. Gwynd, if I could just have a basic archer go over here, I could have them watch over that city for you. I don't have enough money to recruit more of them, though. But you know, because I've at least got... I can now get those artillery pieces. So, I've got these... It's about 11 guys. Yeah, you're going back here to be retrained. Eventually. I'm actually going to send you over here. I'll send you to Gwynd. Because then I can use these guys to try and go uh, up into watching Keras. That's so I'll kind of go with you guys. I can maybe move the archer that's here too. But I wanna, I'd want to clear out more of these guys if I'm going to do that. I do want to at least get an artillery piece here before we leave. So we need at least 2,700 if I want to get both. Which I would prefer to have at least one of each, I'd say. I'm just worried about, like, what you're doing. Like, where's the witch... He can only hit Aldberg. So hopefully he's going to go after Aldberg. Actually, can I recruit... I could just recruit this guy. Because these guys aren't that beat up. So let's recruit that one unit. Because he can siege Aldberg. He cannot siege Entwade right now. Okay, so the Dunlendings are not decided to see just. Okay, so um, I'm going to keep yeah, gathering you guys over here. So we're, they're sieged over here. Got these two guys. Because I mean, this is, again, we're going to bring Hama in with all these guys. And these cab units. I'll bring these guys at least for sure into Hama's army. So he's got more archers or more cab units. And then this army should be good, I would say, to beat back you guys. That's just all infantry. That's good. Okay, so we got that fight. We are seized over here. What do you have in this army? Fuck, you've got Zagar and the Witch King in here. Fuck. Oh, God. Um. This area... Um. Okay, does it at least have wooden walls like that? Okay, so... Fuck. It's got both. Got more archers over here. I'll try and see if I can get you guys over here, but I don't think you'll be able to get there in time. So you try. You might lure them away. It's unlikely, but you might. But yeah, I think Aldberg, we have to wait for the assault. I've got more men over here, but I need more cav. I know. Um, so let me grab you. Because again, I do want another Jonas bodyguard as a governor. But also then, let's try and properly get some more cavalry around back here. That we can send over to help this way. Because the troops I've got over in the west are fine, I'd say. I think we're pretty good off on that. I think we need more help over here, especially since you have two Nazgul over here now at this point. So you guys do that. I'm not to worry about you guys. I just need to keep trying to convert this area, and then I'll be able to keep moving. And basically, like once this archer gets here, I can pull these guys out of here, send them forward. Basically, they're the guys that are being the garrisons for me. Yes. So we just need to do this fight, and we do now have at least a couple cab units. Are these all... Yeah, all infantry, no skirmishers. They have literally no skirmishers whatsoever. Uh, this no, army in here no. is just two axemen. Okay, yes. you know, we should be able to fight this. So push these guys back. Still be having us so that essentially Hama and uh, Theoret, uh, you two will be starting to gather a force together. And you'll be the ones going on the offense against the Dunlendings. I just need to get that artillery piece first. Those artillery pieces first. Before we start moving out. So here we've got yeah, actually a decent amount of archers here. Let's see. I need to remember you are a general body, an infantry bodyguard. Not a cav bodyguard. And this is my cav. So let's start deployment. Um, I can't see them all that well with these trees. Are they going to advance on us, or are they going to sit there? They're going to advance on us. Okay. So let's get you guys. I'm going to get you guys to just move up a little bit to just kind of cover my archers. So you guys move up. Uh, actually, you should be holding back. i to make sure you're safe. Okay, you guys move up to about here. Move out there. You'd be off to the side a little bit to help flank things. 
I need to make sure my calves start moving forward so we can try and have you guys do some stuff. So we can get you to flank, that'll be perfect. We want to focus on the captain first if we can. He is currently this guy, this one of those berserker units. They're not in range right now. They're just letting themselves be shot at, which is perfect. Yeah, I prefer you guys give me time to get set up. So I'll have my uh, cav kind of run around though. Get ready to try and hit this captain. So I'm going to take you out first. Because once he's dead, this is just a captain. Uh, it's not led by a general's bodyguard. So they should be a bit more easy to break here. They're pulling back. Yeah, that's good by me. That's good by me. I'm okay with that. Because I've been able to take out, yeah, 14% of your army with just my archers. Not bad. Uh, they do have some units pulling on in here. So let's see. Let's get you guys off to the side a little. Let's surround this unit. So, you charge. Charge. Get around a little bit more. That might actually be... Yeah, that's good with just those two. Didn't even need the third, third unit here. There we go. So that unit is completely eliminated. There we go. Okay, now let's get over here. Because it was uh, this drone. Yeah, this is the unit. That's the captain. Archers are almost out of ammo. They've lost a third of their army, though. If they keep sending, like, one unit at me at a time like this, though, to my cav, that's perfect. Because I can just have you guys get in position and fully surround these poor bastards. Hi, guys. Let's hit him from every angle. Let's see. Yep, broken instantly. Run that unit down. We've now taken out 40% of their army. Now let's properly take out the captain here. So right there, right there, and right here. So we go there, take him out. I'm out of ammo now on my guys. Which, not surprising, but if we just take this guy out, then the rest of their army should be pretty easy to break. Because then we can go into melee with them a little bit more with my infantry and start trying to route them through cap charges. Yeah, that berserker. If we continue like this, we will Almost smash broke. The enemy. Smash. Oh, come on. Take him out. Take out the berserker. He didn't fully die on the charge. There he is. Now he's running. We've Try and capture him. There we go. Now pull back. Teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. There, you guys going to advance on me now? Not as long spears are... Oh, they've actually got some guys running away towards me. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, please, please capture these routing bastards. Are they going to advance into us just yet? We will smash the enemy. Some of you guys are fighting to the death. Go. Okay, so as soon as you guys are done routing, I'll have my infantry start pushing forward because all of these guys are now here. Yeah, everyone's here now. I'm just waiting on this unit, basically. So, like, once that unit's dead, there we go. Now, let's start pushing forward because they've now lost, yeah, 63%. Let's push up. Basically, I just need to get into melee with them. As soon as we get into melee with these guys, I can just cav charge them and they're just all going to break. Yeah, so start pushing forward. We've got some of their berserkers who break instantly right now, too. Oh my god, I love it. Oh yeah. I, I think Hama, I think the war with the Dunlanians will be in great hands if we leave it to you guys. Yeah, just, just make sure you run these guys down. Yeah, because now they're starting to get in melee with us. So yeah, run these guys down. If we continue like this, we will and then they're only uh, focusing on this side right now. Let's have it so... Let's see. Right there... There and there. So you guys will charge on in, help out over there. A couple of them are fighting over here. Only half the enemy force yeah, remains. that's gonna. Just, I think your your counting's off a little bit, man. I've ca I've already captured a thousand guys. More than a half of their army is dead. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna want to run them down. So run you guys down there. Run you guys there. And then is there any other giant chunks, or is it just that? Because that's only a couple guys. I think it's just those two. Yeah, because these are all, like, little small units. Yeah, I just want to get everybody. Just so we can get more experience. I captured 1,400 of you guys. Fucking beautiful. There we go. That's good. Be awed by the victory we have won here not bad, today. not bad. Now, we just need to have it so that we'll just keep trying to get you guys some artillery pieces so you can start pushing forward. Because if, if I get two pieces of artillery... I can then assault any city I really want. I, I, I'm i thinking this army, again, it'll be more of a traditional army. Actually has infantry, actually has archers, actually has a... Not everybody's cav. 
So we only need a couple cav units. Three cav units. Three to four cav units is pretty good, I'd say, for this. Then we can just have it so that we'll keep pushing forward into the Dunlendings. Because the Dunlendings I do need to have more infantry against. I do. So I'll, I'll keep fighting them. As Isengard we can easily destroy with... Let's see. Um, I kind of want to keep doing the ransom thing. Just because like it's really easy to get these guys... Just to keep beating them back. It's really easy. So let's just uh, pull back... I'll pull U3 for sure. Just into this city, into this fort, so that way I can get some more free upkeep. So do that. You try and train those guys. You got a little bit more money. Um, crass, I should have you guys grab something so you can actually free upkeep units at some point. Let's see. Yeah, if I go with the archers, it's that'll be fine by the time you finish that. So grab that, because then we can have our free upkeep archer there. Bregnos. I should maybe have you guys get the same thing so you can start getting some upkeep, uh, free upkeep units around here. So you guys can do that. Then uh, Edoras. Thank you guys the communal farming. Because we do still need to keep getting more money if we can. You should also get some sort of free upkeep unit around here. Because this guy's still not free upkeep at all so he's, he's wasting money. And then I just have to wait for this siege here. I have to see how this goes. I've got a good amount of infantry. Have a taste of my you're a cav bodyguard unit, right? Yeah, you're a cav bodyguard. The infantry they have is not crazy. Uh, Zagar is an archer. Yeah, he's an archer. And then the other one's just a basic one. If they assault that, I think we're okay. It just depends if they're going to assault or if they're going to siege out. They're actually going to be sieging Gwind over here. You guys have been sorry. Oh, that's the remnants. Let's see. Got those two bandits and then get you guys. But also, I'm pretty sure. Well, if you move, I can just have it so that uh, my cav. Let's see. Yeah, let me do. Yes. I'll leave this skirmisher cav. Actually. I'm gonna stick you. I'll do this. I should do the reverse. So I'll grab all my skirmisher cav from here. And I'll take you guys out. Because I could try and split you guys off into these two armies. But I do like to have it so like when we're all, uh, going in the offensive, it's pull all of you together. Because I think I should have enough movement range to make my way over. So this army here literally can't touch us. So we'll go, we'll go liberate stuff with Gwynd. They're still sieging us around Aldberg. I would hope that, again, I don't think I can win that if we all go on the offensive. So we have to wait for them to assault. They should hopefully assault this next turn, I believe. So we'll start the battle. This is just going to be literally get anywhere nearby and they die. There's 18 of them versus 500 horse archers. They can't touch me. The only reason I should lose men is because of fight friendly fire. That's the only reason. Yeah, that's victory. it. There you go. Good job, guys. So now, we'll keep making our way forward. Hopefully I have enough range to be able to get over to that remnant army that's besieging Gwyn, because they would win against those two bandits. They would. So we gotta clear that out. Then we'll turn back around, and I should be able to, yeah, once we finish the building for the archer, get them as free upkeep to kind of help watch over the Karas, or the bandits, if we move the bandits up. They can do that. One of the two. Then we'll start pushing forward. I'm gonna go towards uh, Baloran first, right? The one on the, the the further south city that they currently control of Isengard. Because I want to go down there and then go up. We have Let's see. So, yeah, I have I have plenty of movement. To oh man, you poor poor idiots! You should run. Your courage, men. That's what they should March be doing. Into battle. Scott, I, I almost want to try and have it so I do have these as two separate armies. Because if I, I, I want, I do eventually want to have it so that I have Aomir controlling just an army of just horse archers. That I really do. I just don't have the money for that right now. Because we'll have it so, let's try and go over here. They have one archer. And they've got a little bit of cav. So they can do a little bit of damage. But for the most part, we have so many skirmishers. I don't think it's going to matter all that much. Yeah, because just keep trying to like... Rotate around them essentially. Just keep shooting them. Just keep running around in a giant fucking circle. 
They've already lost 14% of their army. Yeah, the archers are trying, but we're just going to keep running around you guys. I actually charge the archers right now if I wanted to, but they're taking enough damage just for my skirmishers. So I'm not too worried about that. This is just a giant Cantabrian circle, basically. <laughs> Essentially what we're doing here. Yeah, because there, the skirmishers are all dead. 39% are now dead. It's just like the spear guard and everybody still. Yeah, and they're now going towards my allies, which if you want to, that's fine. It's just I'm going to keep uh, focusing you guys down. The spear guard's the best unit they've got in this army. Once we're out of ammo, we'll have to start charging into them a little bit. And then, let's see, this is just a raider unit here. Let's try and run back this way. Let's see, so you guys are out of ammo. Let me get you to run over to the side here. And then you guys still have some ammo, so try and charge over here. Let's see. Yeah, stop moving. I'm oh, not going to yet. Okay, because I'll try and have it so that essentially you guys charge here. The other two try and charge here. You guys have still a little bit of ammo. I was hoping we'd break them on those charges. No, that's that's not as good as I was hoping it for. Okay, so pull back. The battle is very much in our back. Favor. Victory will be ours. There we go. Yeah, you guys just need to use your ammo up, because these guys have no ammo now. So we can start getting you guys to try and run into melee as well. So, move up a little bit more. I'm going to wait until you guys hit these bandits. Because then we can just charge them when they're fighting the bandits. Yeah, so charge on in there. Charge on in there. You guys get a little bit closer here. This is the captain. No, the captain is the spear guard. But yeah, this guy at least. Yeah, he's now dead. Uh, let's see, we got 97%, so we can end the battle. 31 casualties. Not that bad. But you know, so now wind is going to be safe. Now we will train regroup around Keras. I might actually have it, so uh, I have to double check on those archers I was going to put into the city. Where they are currently right now. Because if they can get into the city right now, I can actually have it so the bandits come with us. So they can try and watch over Karas for us. Because I do want to have somebody watch over Karas so it's just faster for us to move out. I can also leave, like, the general's bodyguards that I've been having uh, sit along with us be governors. But I, I want to have them be, like, fighting. They've been on the front lines with us for so long. Because I could leave you guys here to be governors. Oh, no, you've got a special ability now. Grimbolt's not doing that. Um, you don't have an ability, so I could let you. Yeah, you wouldn't be a bad governor. You would not be a bad one. Yes, my lord. Yeah, I can just barely get here with the archer. Are they happy? They are. Okay, so I can send the bandits up this way. And then we'll have Amir first, like, get a watchtower down around over here. But we'll start regrouping. So we dealt with that. Now it's just stuff down here which I cannot get in range of the city I'm gonna go here and I think they'll assault this turn and they've got a lot of siege equipment I think we should be okay uh, I can maybe get no that cab unit same issue he's per perfectly blocking it so I can't get next to the city to give reinforcements okay well let's see you guys. I'm going to get you guys your basic barracks building around here. You guys get a stable around here because I don't have one yet. Try and get more spears. Uh, is there anything else to build right now? You guys. No, I don't have enough money to build anything yes. over there. You, I want to go to Fangorn Camp to watch yes. over that city. Do you need bodyguard? You do have a special unit. Riders of the Fold. Oh man, you'd be a great person to actually put in with uh, Amir's force. Shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have you just be a generic governor. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll eventually replace you. Um, but yeah, let's have you guys go there. Because we're still gathering. Oh, actually, I can at least. Oh, if anything, I'd like to start the catapult. But a ballista is a good start. We'll try and get the. Yeah, we'll try and get the catapult started next turn. Because I want to have both of those 
and then we would be trying to make my way up towards Dunard next turn. Yep, and here they come. So, this arm's gonna be fun to deal with. If I can get them onto just their ladders, I have a decent chance here, I think. That is, if we're able to get them on just the ladders. We'll have to see if we're able to. I have a good amount of cav. So I might be able to actually do some good damage to them with my cavalry. Once they get all set up. But I have to hope that I can get them onto just the ladders. Because if they go through the gates, we're fucked. If the, the siege towers, I'd be fine. But, like, they just lag the game too much. So I usually try and get those too. But let's see. So what we're going to do... So, at the moment, I know for sure they'll try and hit this spot. Let's get everybody off the walls. Because let's have it so... Grab all of my melee cav. Then all of my skirmisher cav. Let me get all my skirmisher cav. Let's get you guys kind of over here, I'd say. Because then she'll try and have you guys rush out around this side. Melee cav will be used to try and get them off of their siege towers. And everything. So, let's get you guys all up over here by the gates. There, 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 and there. And then, you're here to turn on towers, archers. I'm going to try and see... Let's see. I'm going to put you there. I don't think they'll actually use this ladder in this spot. So you can go there. I think you... Yeah, I think it'll be okay there. I just need you guys to start shooting people. So we'll do that, and then I'll put most of my guys onto this spot for now. And then I'll have you guys down on the ground, because I'm curious. If they do go for this spot, I can adjust you guys. If they go for this spot... Because it's, it's most likely they'll either go for here, here, or here. So I'll have you guys just down on the ground to kind of adjust as needed, essentially. But we will start the battle. I'll have it so... Start rushing out this way. Need to have it so... One of you hits this. One of you hits this. Because so I need to make sure you guys actually drop this stuff. If you guys don't drop your equipment, this is going to be a problem. So essentially, yeah, you guys just kind of rush on out. Run out there, you guys too. Essentially kind of go around here. All of you hit this one. Just need you guys to actually drop the spot. Yeah, because like... This guy here, that's dropped pretty easily. That's not an issue. Uh, this guy doesn't want to drop his shit. So let's get you guys to run back over this way. Okay, you guys, I think... Let's kind of get off to the side with one of you. Are they moving their other rams? Or are they just using just this one? Because we dropped off one of their rams... This siege tower doesn't want to stop moving for some damn reason. Let's try and run around it first. So try and get through here if you can. I can hit this at a later point. You, I'm having to stay around here just in case for a second. Yep, they are moving up another ram. Let's try and go hit that if I can. Remember why, seven to six so far. Skirmisher Cav, yeah, you guys could try and run out here a little bit. But yeah, this guy, kind of go around the side. I them to drop their ladder, and they are going for this spot over here. So I need to get you guys up onto this spot. So get up here. You need to hit that other ram. Yeah, that thing's still coming back around. Okay, so this thing I can hit again, though. But for right now, and then hopefully they'll drop that and keep it dropped. And try and pull you out of here now. Because hopefully they're just... Yeah, that guy broke. Damn it, that's not what I wanted to see. Okay. Now we just need to have it so that essentially I need to... Again, I need to get you guys to drop this damn ram. This siege tower, I mean. This siege tower has to drop. These guys, I'm trying to get you guys around. I'm going to try and see if I can use you to take out the Nazgul. Let's see, there's the Temple Marksman. He's on this side. That's the guard right there. And then... I'm not... I ha I'd have to shoot you to death, but I can probably just ignore you. If I'm going to take anybody out, I think we're going to try and take out Zagar. So you guys try and hit this thing again. All of my infantry. You guys now just need to try and hold on the walls the best you can. So you've got a good chunk of you guys over here. And I hope you guys hold this. If you don't, at least we're going to make sure you get a good final stand. Because let's see. I'll get you guys... He's actually running up onto the walls. Let's try and uh, hit him before he does that. Because yeah, he's making his way over here. This section's not doing as well as I would like it to. This section is... Ladders we haven't kicked down at all. And you guys, yeah, they dropped the siege tower now, finally. But now they're bringing everybody to bear. Oh god, there's so many of you fuckers here. Trying to have you guys specifically just distract the Temple Marksman. 
Can I pull back here again? Because this side is not doing well. I need to try and slow their advance up into this spot. If possible. Yeah, because you might be able to kill Zagar. Good amount of number of damage number-wise. Like, it's pretty even. Yeah, it's trying to do a little bit better here. Uh, you guys have no ammo. I'm going to get you guys to run down and try and get over here. Skirmisher Cav, essentially, yeah, you guys stay over here to shoot things. Like, number-wise, we're doing good amount of damage. Actually, we're doing far better on this side now. Yeah, far better. I think I need some more help over on this section, actually, now that I think about it. You're almost out of ammo, too. Yeah, so let's get you guys to join on up here and help out this spot. Because we got them in a little bit of a stalemate. I'm a little worried about Zagar here, what he's going to be able to do. Let's see. But if we can just have it so my Skirmisher Cab keeps firing in here. Yeah, casualty-wise, we're taking quite a bit. But they are as well. So now we just have to kind of see how we're going to hold here. If I could kick the ladders down, that'd be fucking amazing. So my men are holding. They're doing their best. I don't have a lot of guys. But we have taken out two-thirds of their army now at this point in time. Most of my army's cav, which is kind of an issue, because some of these guys I can't really hit. I can try and do some damage uh, to the guys that are trying to make their way on in. I can't technically charge into you, but I can try and kind of like walk on in here, essentially. I do that with you, and you guys as well. Because if I can try and get a little bit more damage or distract them from the ladders, that'd be perfect. So we'll try and get the cav on in here to try and help out. As we can't just sit here doing nothing. We have to try and help the best we can. I just don't want to stay here in extended combat. I want to try and have it so that, like the towers doing their work is actually helping a ton. And we need to make sure that they keep doing what they can. And just hope that my infantry keeps holding. Because like right now, 60 to 64. Like we're doing good damage. It's just whether or not we're going to be able to do last the entire duration though. Because right now we've got about like half of the timer used up. And I would like to try and keep whittling these guys down a little bit, or like kind of like lure them away from the ladders if possible. As Orc Band is fine, like I can try and get over here. I just have to make sure they don't get off of the walls. If they get down off the walls, we're fucked. Hell yeah, we've been able to kill one of the generals. So this is just the basic general. It's not one of the Nazgul, sadly. But we have been holding uh, quite well, honestly. Because we've been able to kill, yeah, 86% of the forces. 71% of my own have died. So, like, we're holding here. Some of their guys are getting down on the ground. But for the most part, it's okay. As long as they don't open the gates. If they open the gates, I'm fucked. Because then the Witch King will get in here. And his bodyguard alone could easily finish up the rest of my army. So, I'm going to hope that doesn't happen. Because, like, right now, you guys are mainly doing the best around here. You're holding amazingly in this spot. And, uh, like, these guys are still taking some good damage. If we can just hold out a little bit longer, we have one and we'll survive. Okay. We were able to hold. Didn't kill any of the Nazgul. They didn't die. But they still took a lot of damage. So at least be able to hold for right now. I'm going to have to desperately get some reinforcements in here. I, de I definitely need to get some better units, uh, specifically to take out just the Nazgul. The Nazgul units are just so strong, it's hard for my early units to kill them. So we need to start getting some more of my elite units. As if it's just a basic general's bodyguard of the forces of, um, just like the basic orc bodyguard. If it's just that with their basic units of orcs, that's fine. That's not that bad to deal with. We can deal with that. But the Nazgul, the Temple Guard units are just good units. They're really good units. So they're really hard to deal with with my basic guys. But at least we're going to hold here for right now. I wish I had enough. Let's see. Nothing to really sack the ransom there. I wonder how far away I push that army back. Because if I have a little bit more than they do. Basically, they have just the Nazgul alive. If I could somehow chase them down and finish them off while they don't have a big army to support them... Even if my quality of units is lower than theirs, I could deal with them. I think right now, though, it might be better for us to try and sit and try and recover. Try to train what units I can in Aldberg. Because it seems like they're going to be focused on Aldberg for the most part. They, they seem to be ignoring Entwaite, which is good. We want that. We want one specific location to defend. And as long as we've got that, we're okay. Because let's see. 
Hey, he's way over here. He's got four units. Yeah, I really should try and retrain my guys. So let's try and retrain whatever units are really beat up. And we'll slowly be doing that. I'm going to start beating this. So in six turns, I'll have more free upkeep stuff around here. I do at least have these archers. So we have more archers now in the city as well. So we've got that. Um, other than that right now... I know you're, you're going into Fangorn camp for right now, but I do want to put you out of there. I'll probably have it so like this general's bodyguard will make his way over to help out. Eisen, run. Oh, actually, before I forget. First, catapult. Get a catapult, and then, um... Let's see. What do we have a lot of right now? We need to use more archers. Also, I do like uh, these guys. Let's try and get some more units here. So I'll try and grab some more infantry that's going to be coming along with the, uh, with Hama and Theoret. So you guys can do that. I would say for you guys... Again, I need more money. So getting more growth in a lot of these areas will help out with that. Gwynd. Let's try and have you... Oh, actually, no. Um, Caress. Oh, no. It's next turn. Next turn to be able to get that. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's okay though. Yeah, because like Honor. you can just go here. Yes, give me a watchtower. This tower will keep vigil over the Unless you land. just get a little bit more, just yes. in case. This yeah. tower will keep that, that's what I kind of thought. Yeah, so just keep getting those watchtowers. Tower will keep you guys can go here now. Yes. Um, are they happy with just the bandits? Yes. If I lower the taxes, yes. That way, I can then, if you guys move forward, I then host. want to yeah make my way over to Balorn because if we take Balorn. They are not going to have... They're going to have nowhere to run, basically. Which is going to be exactly what we want. So, essentially, we got that. Uh, they do have some troops around. Bregnos. You guys right now... So, you're at 71%. So, I can move this spy. You guys are at 40%. I don't think I need one in Gwynd right now anymore. Yeah, you guys are at 65%. So, I will move out this spy. Jump in Keras. You can do that. And then we need at least three turns, but I can try and grab more guys here of basic units. I could try and have us still move out now. Well, we could move out next turn, and then have the catap the ballista and catapult catch up with us. I I do not mind sitting here for a turn though to kind of recover more uh, and make sure we're still making more money. I'm just worried about like you guys deciding to siege Bra Bregnos. Because that's the remnants of the army I fought. Um, if I had have to, I could turn you guys around and probably go hit them if they start sieging Bregnos, though. Yeah, they are going to siege us at Bregnos here. Okay, so... I've got a good amount of men. Let's see. Because, like... I have at least two guys there. Because I would want to have it so that if I go here... You don't have enough movement to catch up, catch up with us. Because yeah, I can get Hama here, at least. You guys, like, right there. Movement-wise. You do not have enough movement to get over there. I think I'm going to... Well, actually. Yes, my lord. You guys made your way over here. Because just those three cab units alone might be enough, actually, to turn that tide. What kind of yes. mercenaries? Oh, there's no mercenaries in this area. Yeah, because I, I want you to keep moving forward. Keras is technically possibly under threat. I need at least a archer there. Let's of you guys. I want to keep pushing yes. into them, though. Because, like, right now, let's see. Yeah, they're still backed up over here, backed off. So we can keep just trying to slowly but surely keep trying to train you guys. I need to do something about Bregnos. I think for right now... Do I want to assault the thing right now? Ooh, I did oh, get that, General, though. So let's see. So you... So I'll have you yes, move out. Lord. You now be the new governor of Fangorn camp. That way, then, I'll have you two actually oh, move out. So you two move out. Uh, and then I want to have it so... You make it over here. So we got a little bit more in that city. Okay, so we got that at least now. Um, you get the, yeah, this guy, so he's free upkeep around here. And then I would say get me another smoking house so we get more spies. Be gone. Let's see, if I've tacked that right now and we lost, yes. would my army inside die? As yes, they would. 
thing is, though, yeah, if with, like with these three cabins, I was already destroying this army. Um. Yeah, no. Let's let's fight this. This will probably be the last thing we do for today, possibly, depending on how long this takes. Because if we take out this force and we are able to liberate the fight right now, that's perfect. If not, Hama can come over here and we just reclaim the territory. But let's see. So first and foremost, we do need to take out that captain of theirs. So let's get you guys over around here. We do have the infantry that we can use to kind of help out distract them. I guess just kind of run around them. So let's go around the side. It's this berserker is the one that we have to worry about. So we're going to start trying to run and pa or pass them. You guys, yeah, just kind of chill here. I'll actually have you guys get a slightly more elevated position. So, like, right here and here. Good tidings. He's dead already. General lies dead. <laughs> He's dead already. Fuck yeah. That's what I want to see. Yeah, so the captain's already dead. Now, if you can just finish off that unit. There you go. Pull back. Now, if you guys can just kindly come at me one at a time, that'd be great. Because if I can just deal with you guys one at a time, one unit at a time, I can easily try and charge on in here. Let's see. It's like right there. Uh, what were you fighting? Oh, yeah, it was just the guys that were routing. Yep. Ra units are already routing. Pull back. All of this unit back here, essentially. I always go after the guys that are routing. This is going to back up again. Yeah, because you run the guys down that are routing there. Hit this berserker here. God, their morale is ass, and I love it. They have a lot more guys around here, though, which is kind of concerning. But, I should slow this down. And now breaking. Pull back. Pull back. Yep, now they're starting to route. You pull back. Wait until they start running away. Then start running them down. Let's see. Try and hit these raiders here. Yeah, this is perfect. I love cavalry sometimes. They're amazing to play around with when you have really good cav. The long spears, yep, they're facing away from us. Beautiful. They didn't break, though, so be careful, because that's actually a good unit, so we want to pull back in a second. You're taking a while to break these guys. Yeah, just keep running them down. Let's see. They are getting close to my forces over here. Archers, yeah, I do have fire will on. Get back over here. Get off to the side. Just trying to hit the raiders. Still getting, waiting for Theora to get over here. If you hit these berserkers, pull back again. Yeah, because now they're being shot up by my archers. And if they get in melee, that's when we properly want to charge. There we go. Okay. You charging in over here. These guys haven't broken yet. You're still running guys down. Yeah, there's still a lot of them over here. You should be able to easily shatter this section. Yep, there we go. Run them down now. Let's kind of pull back a little bit. Yeah, focus on the Berserkers specifically. You hit those raiders so they stop running at us. Okay. Yeah, it, it was the right move to bring on in Theo right over here. Because this is a absolute slaughter. Oh, those long spears you just excellently charged in the front. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's way, yeah, way more damage than I wanted there because of that. Hopefully you guys recover that. The enemy Let's see. Army uh, what are we at? 87 continues just a little bit down. longer. And then that should be good. The enemy are utterly vanquished. I healed 19 guys, so he's still going to have like 51 guys. Okay, that's not bad. That, that, it could have been worse. Could have been a hell of a lot worse for them. But there. So, now we have broken the siege. We'll have you turn back around, regroup with Hama. And we'll start making our way forward next turn towards Dunard. So, with you guys focusing on Dunard, um, and then just the Dunlendings in general... We'll have two, three fronts basically right now. Mordor's front, the Isengard front, and the Dunlany front. The Isengard front is slowly but surely like we're winning that fight. It's just taking a little while to get there because, hey, I just have to keep getting... I have to consolidate the areas. That's the thing. Because as long as I can get some men to watch over those. I want to ransom again, but I don't want you guys to attack this area once more. Have mercy, my Lord. <sighs> but it's like 2300. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go with that. I, I don't want to try and have to deal with those guys. 
Okay, you back up. Yes. Yeah, you'll join up with Hama. And then this ballista, uh, I'll have you try and group that up with you. This stuff will have follow-up later, so that'll catch up later, but we can at least have the one ballista that we can utilize. And then, do I want to... I want to go over Blorn, but I could hit Lond Angren right now, or start sieging Lond Angren. Um, I just feel like I should kill this army before I do... Oh, otherwise, Karas is going to be under threat for a bit. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, let's kill this guy. This will be, the la be the last thing we do, because this will be really fast. Because this way, then, Karas will be a little bit more defended. We're not going to have to worry as much about it. And then we start making our way towards Balorn next turn. But no, I think things are going well for this campaign. I just need to get more money, like... We've been using so many of my just uh, basic units for so long right now uh, that it's kind of crazy, honestly. Let's see, you guys over here. You guys over here. Like, our basic units are good units, honestly, though. Like, our basic cav is good. Our basic uh, horse archers are good. Our basic infantry is okay. Definitely could be better there. They've got their long spears on top of the archers. Not what I want. But, you know, you guys just... Trying to run around them, essentially. Do the giant Cantabrian circle, essentially. Just keep running around them, shooting these guys. They've already lost 17% of their army. Like, I, I love how bad the units are in comparison to us when we're just deciding to... Oh, careful there. Pull back, pull back. When we're just using our horse archers. So you guys pull back there. Yeah, their cav is a little bit of an issue, but, like, this one's almost dead. So you guys start focusing on the other horse archer. No, sorry, yeah, other cab unit. There we go. Okay, so now they've lost 46% of their army already. And they do have some archers, but I don't care about the archers. Let's get a little closer. We don't even need to use my melee cab for this. Only half the enemy yeah. force Skirmish cab, you guys got this. When are they going to break? <laughs> yeah, like, just imagine once I have a full stack army of just horse archers for this. Like, I'm going to love it. Like, right now, already, we can absolutely just demolish these guys without really concern. Any concern? Yeah, just spearmen, just charge them. There we go, we can end the battle now. Yeah, eight casualties, which, uh... No, no, okay, yeah, they, they actually did kill some on their own. Surprisingly, I kind of thought they didn't. But there. So now, Karash should be safe for a little bit. I'm going to get some more reinforcements into that city anyways. Now we need to make our way over to Balorn. Now, what if we secure Balorn, at least? Isengard doesn't have any other territory to the south. Like, I, I want to finish off uh, Isengard sooner than later, but we are, with us being at war with the Dunlanians as well, we have to split our focus a little bit. I'd like to just beeline straight into Isengard. But no, I think that's fine. Because now... Let's see, so let's see you guys... And then again, I want to make my way over. Yes, my lord. I might go for Londangren first, just because it's closer. I know, like, this would uh, finish off that front sooner, but, like, it's a lot easier. Actually, out of the settlements that are. Ulspit is their capital right now. Also, it's. I know it's a wealthy city. I could. In, okay, I, I was thinking about going down and then up. I could go up and then down. Either one really works, but. I will be done for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign and any thoughts of it in general. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time. So it's, I know it's a wealthy city. I could...